Welcome children, take out your history book. Chapter 11, The Revolt of 1857. Today's topic, Military Causes. A large number of Indian sepoys were employed in the army. They have served the company loyally and have helped in the expansion of the British rule in India. Now, many Indian sepoys, they were employed in the British army and they had served the British East India Company very loyally and they had even helped the British rule to expand their territories in India. But the sepoys were not treated well and were neither rewarded appropriately nor appreciated. But these sepoys, they were not at all treated well nor they were rewarded appropriately or they were appreciated. This caused rising discontentment among the sepoys. And what it caused? It caused rising discontentment among the sepoys. The sepoys were ill-treated and considered inferior by the British officer. Now, the British officers, uh, the Briti uh, British officers considered the sepoys as uh, inferior and even they, they ill-treated them. Discrimination in the army hierarchy did not allow Indians to occupy the top rank as they were reserved for the British officer and they were too much discrimination in the army and so the Indians were not uh, allowed to occupy the top ranks and the, as the top ranks were only reserved for the British officers. In fact, an Indian sepoy could not rise beyond the post of a subeda and the Indian sepoys, they, they could not rise beyond the post of a subeda. This was tremendous disparity in the salaries drawn by the Indians and the British children. Even there were too much differences between the salaries which were drawn by the Indians and even the British soldiers. Indians were paid quite low as compared to the British soldiers, Indian soldiers. They were even paid very low salary in comparison to the British soldiers. This bhata, the bhata, an extra allowance that was given during the during wars fought outside the country was also withdrawn. And the bhata, bhata means extra allowance that is the extra money that was given during the uh, during the war this for the fought outside the country also and this was withdrawn the general service enlistment act of 1900, 1856 made it compulsory for all the requests to serve overseas now one new act came now the new its name was general service enlistment act according it the general service enlistment act it came in the year, uh, it was issued in the year 1856. According to this act, it was it, uh, it was compulsory for the uh, Indian armies even to serve, even to serve overseas who were required, uh, recruited. This law was not acceptable to many Indians as in those days, it was believed that going overseas meant losing one's caste and religion. Now, this law it was not acceptable by many many indians they didn't accept this law because during that time during that time they believed that going overseas going to foreign country that means the one person is losing their own caste and even religion after the annexation of our the nawab's army was disbanded many soldiers lost their livelihood now after when Awadh was annexed the nawab's army was disbanded and Many soldiers, they even lost their livelihood. The Indian sepoys outnumbered the British soldiers greatly. Hence, as the resentment towards the foreign matters grew, they found a confidence in the growing numbers and took up arms against them. Now, Indian sepoys, as they were outnumbered, now British outnumbered the British soldiers greatly. And so, they resented, this resented towards the foreign master group. And they found it very confident in their growing numbers and took up the arms against them. Now comes the immediate cause. What is the immediate cause of the revolt? The atmosphere was rife with discontentment and anger. Now, atmosphere, it was quite rife because there were discontentment and anger in the society. The introduction of Enfield rifles in the British army was the spark that ignited the revolt. Now, introduction of Enfield rifle in the British army, what happened? It blew up, it gave a spark, it was initiated the revolt. It triggered of the revolt because they rumored that the paper cover of the curses were greased with cow and pig fat, fat spread among the Indian sepoys. Now, 
it triggered the revolt. Why? Because everyone believed or there was rumor that the paper cover of this cartridges, it was greased with cows and pig fat and it was spread among the Indian people. Both Muslims and Hindus refused to use the cartridges as the paper cover had to be bitten off before being loaded. Now, both Hindus and Muslims, both the Sipai, they refused to use this cartridges because the paper cover had to be bitten off before loading with mouth. The introduction of these cartridges was seen as an attempt to pollute their religion. Now, this introduction of cartridges, it was taken as an attempt to pollute their religion. The British, instead of understanding the sentiments of the Sipars, punished those who refer British. Without understanding the sentiments of the Sipar, they have punished the people, punished the soldiers who had refused to do so. Mongol Pandya Sipar in the Barakpur regiment refused to use the cartridge and opened fire on this English superiors when they were forced to do so on 29th March 1857. Now, Mangal Pandey, who was he? He was a sepoy in the Barakpur regiment. He had refused to use this cartridge and opened fire on the English superior when he was forced to do so on 29th of November, March 1857. He urged the other sepoys to join him to end the rule of the company. He even urged the other sepoys to join him and even to end the rule of the company. He was, however, arrested and executed on 8th of April 1857. Though Mangal Pandey was arrested and he was even executed on 8th of April 1857. Mangal Pandey's execution caused great unrest in the army camps across India and sparked of revolts in Merat, Delhi, Kanpur, Jhansi, Lucknow, Banaras, Awadh, Bareilly, and other places in northern and central India. Now, Mangal Pandey's execution. It had caused great unrest throughout the army camp across India and the revolt and the revolts began in Meerat, Delhi, Kanpur, Chhansi, Lucknow, Banaras, Awadh, Bareilly and other places in northern and even central India. Now Meerat. 85 soldiers of the 3rd Bengal Cavalry refused to touch or use the cartridges. Now in Meerat what happened? 85 soldiers of this 3rd Bengal Light Cavalry they have refused this. All the soldiers, they have refused to touch or use the cartridge. On 9th May 1857, the soldiers were dismissed and sentenced to 10 years in jail for disobedience. Now, 9th May, what happened? What was the reaction? These soldiers, they were dismissed from the service and they were sentenced for, they were sentenced to 10 years and in jail. That means they were sentenced, given 10 years imprisonment for disobedience. This uh, infuriated the sepoys and they attacked the British. Now what happened? The uh, sepoys got uh, infuriated for this and they attacked the British officers in Meran. Broke open the jails and released the imprisoned sepoys. What they did? They broke open the jails and released all the imprisoned sepoys. They looted the ammunition and set fire to the British property. What they did? They had looted all the ammunition and set fire to the British property, determined to bring an end to the British ruler. They have taken the oath that they will bring an end to the British rule in India. Today, up to this month, in my next video, I will start the rest part of the chapter. And with this, now take out your diary, right? Chapter, chapter that is 11. Revolt of 1857. Topic Military causes and immediate cause of the revolt. Explain homework, revise it. And with this, I am ending my today's class.